There you are. What's up, YouTube fam? It's been a little minute since I saw you. I think the last time I saw you guys I had hair, right? It's springtime, so hair comes off. That's what I do. I'm using the front-facing camera because I don't have time to set up all the mirrors and shit that I usually use to use the rear-facing camera and yet see and make sure that I'm in frame. So if I'm eyes darting about and I have no idea what I'm looking at, it's because I can't find the fucking lens, which is right there. Boop. Been a long day. Had the day off. Cleaned. Cleaned the, the smoke room man cave thing that I have. The room where I sit, play my video games, and smoke my pipes. I've got some tea, some uh, Pure Leaf, their new tea house collection, organic black tea with wild blackberry and sage or something. It's not bad. It tastes of tea slightly sweet with a hint of blackberry and comes associated with a memory of a time when an ex-girlfriend's mother attempted to purge some negative energy in the house. <laughs> Doesn't really taste that good to be honest with me. <laughs> Had a beer earlier. Yingling. That's always a good decision. You hear that Sam Adams? Anyways. It's a suspiciously large quantity of beer left in my empty beer can. Mm, room temperature backwash. I have left my tobacco over there. Momentito. Warhorse Green is what I'm trying tonight. I just got this in a trade with a buddy of mine fellow Corn Cob Nation member, Travis Graves, uh, also fellow Virginian. Uh, guy lives out in, I'm gonna mess this up, I'm gonna say Dinwiddie, and I know that's not right. Um, shit, where did he say he lives? I believe he's out somewhere near Richmond. Anyways, Travis, what's up? Got your package, this is great stuff. Uh, well, I don't know if this is great stuff, everything that I got in the package is great stuff, but this is completely new to me, so who knows. Um, <laughs> Uh, I had no idea that Warhorse Green is their plug pipe tobacco. Did not know that. So I was a little bit surprised, understandably so, when I opened this thing up and was treated to what I thought was a brownie. Okay. That is every bit a half an inch. Um, I always have a an optician thing. I always have a PD stick on me. It's just the thing. Uh, this is over a half an inch thick. That is um, approximately, uh, let's see, 17 millimeters thick uh, and about 62 millimeters. I'll give you an idea, this is approximately the size of a pair of eyeglasses. That's Those are two very common measurements that I use in measuring eyeglasses. So I cut a little chunk off the corner there and see, here's the thing. This pipe tobacco, this, this Warhorse Green. Um, this is made from Dark Fired Kentucky and Air Cured Magin Mature Red Virginia. And um, what that basically means is it's a dark, uh, it's a Dark Fired Kentucky blend. And um, statistically speaking, this isn't gonna end well for me. <laughs> Uh, I don't do well with dark. I'm sorry, I've got something in my eye. It's fucking, as I said, springtime allergies. Um, I don't do well with uh, dark fired Kentucky. I have had Orlick Dark Strong. I have had Old Dark Fired, uh, which is um, no Orlick. Shit. Uh, Anyways, I've had blends that have um, a, a, a fair quantity of dark-fired Kentucky in them, and by and large, it usually makes me incredibly... It, I get a head rush. There's there's no denying that. Even if I have just a little bit, I will get a head rush. Um, doesn't matter what size pipe I smoke it in, how quickly or slowly I smoke it, my head starts swimming pretty, pretty quick. Um, so I do have one of my smallest pipes uh, loaded up 
This is a Graybo. Um, this is a Graybo Grand Duke, which its name is incredibly misleading because you would think something grand would be um, at least a little bit bigger, maybe. But um, no, this is a, it's a wee tiny pipe. Um, here's a here's a Graybo Savoy by comparison. It is a massive difference in bowl size there. That's, you know, this is, I mean, that's just a standard size pipe as far as I'm concerned. You know, that to me is just regular size pipe. This is kind of inchy winchy. But, or, I figured I hadn't done a video in a bit. Um, told you I spent the day uh, cleaning up here in the, in the smoke room, my sitting room. Um, it, this blend reeks to high hell of licorice for some reason. I don't even, I don't even eat licorice. I've, I, I don't, like, I can't think of, of a single time in my childhood that I ate licorice and I can identify this as licorice. I don't, you know, it's kind of weird. Homemade tamper. Field expedient. Spent the day shooting. Picked up a 44 mag shell casing and a stick, and just did. Just took the bark off of it and trimmed it up a little bit. Put a nice point on there. And stuck that on the end. And this has been a very, very handy little instrument to have over the years. As I said, I spent most of the day cleaning up. Had the day off. Spent the day so far, not bad. I'm not. It's just a char, first taste, not terrible. Doesn't immediately taste like something that's going to make me throw up, so that's a plus. Spend the day cleaning up the man cave here. Went through um, closet just over here. Reorganized all the clothes in it, pulled all the, all the cases out for all my guns went through, reorganized the gun cabinet, reorganized the gun cases, stacked everything up nice and neat, got the clothes back in order, etc. closed that up. Worked my way kind of, you know, just around the room, cleaned up just areas that have accumulated crap over the last year or so since the last time I cleaned it, really. I don't clean very often. Found in the closet a tub full, and when I, when I say tub, I found one of these giant um, totes, these these old freaking Rubbermaid totes, and I mean it's it's just, I mean you can see the dust that's accumulated on it. The top got cracked at some point. Don't know how that happened. Um, yeah, and uh, it's just it's chock full of photos and, and like real photos, photo booklets with, with individual little photos. <laughs> um, because at one point in time in our lives, we used to, um, that's how we used to take pictures. I'm that fucking old. I have a lot of paper photographs. So, uh, went through those, every single one of those pictures today, probably, uh, probably about three or four hundred pictures, photographs that I have. Lots of stuff right around, some, a lot of stuff from the early 90s uh, when I was taking vacations, um, taking summer vacation when I was out of school. Um, I was, uh, for the earliest sets of photos that I found were from 1993. Uh, from, hello, hi buddy, what you doing? Can't not be on camera, say hi. Say hi, Morris. Get my boy. Oh, I know. But if you don't get out, I'm gonna kick you out. I know, I know. Say hi, look. All right, come on, get. I like this pipe up, he'll go away. I like this pipe up, I might go away. To be clear, I wasn't blowing that in his face, just in his general direction. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> um, what I was saying, the pictures that I found, some of them went back, uh, Early as 1993, 
I would have been uh, 93, I would have been eight years old then. Someone from around uh, 95, 97 um, would have put me at uh, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. Um, I know that there should be some photos in there from 1996. I used to spend the summers in Georgia with my grandmother and I was actually in Georgia about 20 minutes south of Atlanta uh, during the Summer Olympic Games in 1996. Um, didn't go to the games because I was 11 years old. This is very interesting. Um, it's, uh, it's not sharp. I expected it to be um, really sharp. It's, it's more of a, a weird mouthfeel to it. That licorice flavor definitely comes through. It's definitely licorice, anise, whatever. It's not a flat flavor by any means, it's deep. Um, it's gonna be unique. If it doesn't knock me flat on my ass and make me throw up and aspirate on my own vomit, then uh, I, I guess we'll call it a good evening. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't get along with Dark Fire, I really don't. But uh, some of the photos that I found in that box were uh, from middle school and high school. They go back about, uh, like I said, from the mid 90s all the way up through about like 2001 seems like so uploaded quite a bit of those to my Facebook page um, which none of you were invited to sorry it's just how it is <laughs> uh, but I'm trying to figure this stuff out this is this, this is interesting this is a pipe that I smoke more like a clay you know usually holding it more by the stem instead of by the bowl because it is very very small and uh, there's barely any coal on the very, very little heat on this, and there's a lot of heat coming through the bowl. A horrible little bin job in the stem there. That's that's my doing. It didn't come out right. Whatever. Uh, but I started. I used um, I used Google Photo Scan on my iPhone, and actually scan those photos to upload them hold on ah shit too much yeah sorry there we go all right that'll work actually use google photo scan as i was saying to uh scan and upload those photos we've got a you know, like five in one copier scanner printer thing sitting around the house It's uh, not set up to my computer. It's not loaded onto my computer. I don't have the drivers for it. I just spent the whole day just setting that thing up to get it running on my computer. So I use Google Photo Scan on my, uh, on my phone. And uh, as long as you pay attention to what you're doing and go through and adjust the corners on every single photo that you do, it does a phenomenal job. It did a great job scanning. Uh, I think I, I uploaded about 130 photos out of that out of that batch of about 300. Um, so about half, about half of what I pulled out of there, and there were a lot of duplicates uh, in those photos as well. So I've uh, I've started uploading them to Facebook, and uh, so far the reaction's been kind of kind of funny because there's a lot of pictures in there that are now going back damn near 20 years, uh, just shy of 20 years now. You gotta think, um, 2002, that was 15 years ago. 1997, that was 20. Uh, so I've got photos in there that are going back 20 years, so. Uh, so. Anyways, that's what's up. Warhorse Green interesting a um, little bit weird definitely not what I'm used to but uh, I first bowl but I'm, I'm willing to say at this point that if it doesn't completely knock my dick in the dirt I, I might have a second bowl if it's not tonight not tonight I mean like I might try it again at a later date not do this back to back
But that's what I got going on. Warhorse, tea, clean room, a little bit of beer backwash, and uh, uploading old photos to Facebook. The prom photos. That's what's happening tomorrow. Prom, 2001, 2002. That's going to be a fun day. You kids take it easy out there. Don't forget to stop by the Corn Cob Nation. Check things out. Also, don't forget to stop by Aristocob.com and check out the Cob Foolery Contest. Voting is now open on the pro uh, on the pro entries, both in the freehand and the classic categories, and there is some absolutely amazing stuff going on over there. Scott does an absolutely amazing little contest with, uh, with the Cob Foolery stuff. There's a lot of great entries in there. Get over there, check them out, place your votes, and as always, stay smoky. Yeah.